you know who it is. Chris Jones, represent for Six of Greatness. And right here, we got some breaking news for the homies and homets out there. Um, popular safety, he's been traded a couple of times in the NFL, but he, uh, he recently is playing for the Colts. And uh, just got busted for performance-enhancing drugs. Fucking steroids. And this is crazy because a lot of people are fucking surprised. First off, look at the guy's physique. You shouldn't be fucking surprised. He's on the fucking field running play after play year after fucking year, walking around looking like a fucking bodybuilder. Um, I, I remember, like, I think it was like a, this was like a, a year and a half ago. I believe the Hodge twins, even uh, they even made a video about this guy. I believe somebody asked the question, um, could you work arms every day? Because this guy, LaRon Landry, pretty much claimed he got his oppressive ass arms working arms every day. And the guy was wondering, should he work arms every day like that guy to get some big ass arms? And I believe the Hodge twins said something. I forgot exactly, I forgot exactly what they said because the video was so long ago. But I believe they said something along the lines of... Uh, the guy has great genetics, regardless of however he trained, he would still have big ass arms. Rather, he trained them bitches once a week or three times a week or four times a week, he would still have big ass arms. And I do agree, the guy is obviously genetically gifted. Steroids or not, look at his fucking waist, look at his shoulders, look at how thick and dense his muscles are, look at the muscle bellies. The guy is genetically gifted. Steroids or not, I know people, I know plenty of people with steroids, they're still weighing like a buck seventy five on stage. So, some people are obviously much more genetically gifted than others. But let me get to the point, man. Um, a lot of you guys need to fucking get out of, get your head out of your ass and realize steroids are in this fucking, uh, a big part of sports. Okay, think about it like this, okay? Let's think about it like this. Bodybuilding, for an example. I don't know if you guys realize this or not, but you might see guys like Phil Heath driving these fucking Ferraris and these fucking Lamborghinis and guys like Jay Cutler with these big-ass mansions in the fucking pool and shit. That's all fine and dandy, but you gotta keep in mind, there are a lot of bodybuilders out there. Only way you can make money like that is like top five. Olympia, top five. Five. And that's only if you market yourself properly. You can still be top five Olympia and you can still be living normal middle class if you don't market yourself properly and handle business. You know, which is why I'm so proud of Phil Heath for starting his own brand. You know, he's won fucking four Olympias now. He, uh, he has great people skills. He went to college, you know. He shouldn't be letting these companies making money off of him like Muscle Tech. He should have been started his own shit. But the point I'm trying to make is, man, there is absolutely not much money in bodybuilding. If you want to live a fucking lavish lifestyle, being a competitive bodybuilder is not the way to go. You want to live a lavish lifestyle, you may want to fucking uh, think about being a coach and get people ready for shows like Honey Rombard or George Farah. may want to start you a supplement company like fucking Muscle Farm or some shit, you know? You, that's how you make the fucking millions. Not fucking getting on fucking stage with your fucking tanning oil. You ain't going to make shit. Unless, like, you're top five and you market yourself properly, you know, selling clothing, doing appearances, shit like that. The point I'm trying to make is, man, these guys put ten times the amount of drugs as these football players and baseball players put in their body, okay? They, these bodybuilders put a boatload of fucking drugs in their body for absolutely nothing. Which is why I'm not really a big fan of bodybuilding. You gotta fucking put shitload of drugs in your body. At least get paid out the ass like the fucking rock or somebody who's making some good money. Why the fuck would you risk your health for a fucking trophy and you're barely even middle class? That's fucking retarded. You know, the point I'm trying to make is you got these guys putting all these drugs in their bodies to make practically nothing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be stupid to think that when there's millions of fucking dollars on the line, these guys are going all natural. You know, you got guys taking steroids to hopefully go pro and win nothing, and then you got guys that are getting $10 million contracts a year and shit. You fucking retarded. You, you, shit, I ain't gonna lie. If I was playing sports and... You know, let's say I'm 28 years old or whatever. You know, I'm getting I'm getting past my prime. You know, I, I'm getting like 10 million dollars a year to play sports, and you know, 
these new college kids are coming, getting drafted into the team. You know, in order to keep my fucking position, you know, I need to still be ahead of the game. So, you know, to get a little edge, of course, you know, you got to do a little something, something. There's too much money in sports not to have the edge. Too much money in sports, man. There's, there are millions of dollars on the fucking line. Okay? Man, fuck that. And then you probably gonna say, well, that's not fucking fair, Chris. That's not fair. Dude, the organizations don't even give a fuck. Just think about it. If you get caught taking steroids, let's say I play for the fucking Cowboys. If I get caught taking steroids, they're just going to suspend me for a few games. Then I, if they really gave a fuck, they would kick you out the league. Think about it. That Ray Rice guy uppercut a bitch in the elevator. They fucking run. This guy got kicked off the fucking team immediately. Immediately. Okay? You take steroids, they just suspend you for a few games, and you can come right back. Now, if they really gave a fuck about you taking steroids, they would not let you come back. They would say, You cheat piece of fucking shit. You're not welcome back here. Take your steroid taking ass. Bitch ass back home, you're not welcome here. But they, they just they just fucking suspend you. It's kinda like we don't it's kinda like, you know, we don't ask, you don't tell. As long as you pass your fucking drug test, as long as you pass your random drug test, we don't ask any fucking questions. Just like the fucking muscle mania. No 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 pun intended. You muscle mania motherfuckers know who you are. Most of you motherfuckers are juicing too. Because, you know, that's how it is. It's kind of like, don't ask, don't fucking tell. They're not going to polygraph test you. They're not going to, you know, go out their way to see if you're taking steroids. It's just pretty much, hey, you pass a fucking test and you're good. You know, I'm, the, I'm, on, I'm surprised that, the, you know, if, to be honest with you, I commend this guy. You know, you could clearly look at this guy and tell he's doing fucking something. You know, I'm surprised he made it this long without getting caught. So let's give this guy a round of fucking applause. But the point I'm trying to make, guys, baseball, football, UFC. Think about UFC. What's that guy's name, man? Talking about uh, he was eating horse meat to get that fucking big motherfucker got caught taking steroids. Alistair. Fucking Alistair. You know the guy who used to take pictures like this at the weigh-ins, big than the motherfucker? Got caught taking steroids. What the fuck did they do? They just suspended him. They didn't say, you roiding piece of shit. You're not fucking welcome back here. No, they just suspended him. Because a lot of these fucking organizations know that people pay good money to be entertained. You want to see motherfuckers get knocked the fuck out. You want to see touchdowns. You want to see these running backs get hit head on week after week and still come back for more week after week well god damn it there's gonna be drugs involved if you want to see that because every year these big these guys are getting bigger thicker more muscular just think about it go back go get on the computer or something and look at some football players from the 1970s and look at some football players now they're much bigger much thicker much faster than they were back then. And a lot of you probably would say, well, but because, you know, nutritional, nutrition is better. We have more. Shut the fuck up. God damn it. It has much more to do than that. It's drugs. Drugs, and of course, we have better nutrition. We have a little more, more, we have much more education about nutritional science and blah, 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 blah. But for the most part, it's fucking drugs. And weightlifting programs are getting a lot more advanced now. We, we know much more about the body than we did back then. But the point I'm trying to make is, get over it, guys. There's, enjoy the sports for what the fuck they are. They're just entertainment. Don't make the shit much more than what it is. Like I said, these fucking bodybuilders are fucking destroying their body, breathing all fucking heavy, uh, big than a motherfucker, ain't making shit. At least these guys are making millions. You know what I'm saying? That's the... That's the Anyway, like I said, that's my take on it. I want to hear you guys take on it below. Let me know what y'all think about the situation. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy.